Welcome back to the video lecture series for Introduction to Auto Programming using Scala. Uh, in this video we're going to continue talking about uh, parsing expressions and parsing them to a tree. So we looked last time at how we can take an expression like this and parse it out to a tree. And this is really needed if we're going to introduce variables. However, the code that we had written in the last chapter did not support variables. If we try to run this right now, we get an exception okay, because it winds up getting a number format exception on the string x because we don't handle uh, we don't handle variables. This does point us to where the problem is. If we don't find an operator right now, we assume that either the whole thing is inside of parentheses or that it's a number. Well, in this case, it's not a number, it's a variable. So what we can do is one of two things. One, we can either try to convert it to a double uh, regardless, uh, or we, and then if we do that, we put this inside of a try catch, and we would catch the number format exception, and if it's not a number, then we would uh, treat it as a variable. However, once we realize it's a variable, what do we do with that? And figuring that out will tell us something about what we want to do here. So in order to make this so it works with the variables, we have to be able to look up a variable in something and give us back a numeric value. And that sounds like a perfect job for a map. So we can pass in a map of string to double and call it vars. And every time that we do a recursive call, we're going to need to pass in that same variable. And now what we can do down here is else if vars dot contains the XPR, then we can return vars sub XPR. Um, oh, we need Comma paste, comma paste, comma paste, comma paste. And when we call this, is there a, yeah, missing a, an open curly brace there. When we call this, we have to pass it a map. So for example, I can put in a map that takes the string x to 2, was the value that I had previously. close parentheses in the wrong location. Okay, there we go. So eval, we pass it the string, we pass it a map, and if we call this with just different maps, mapping different values of x, we'll get different uh, values out of this. So at this point we have put in support for our variables, uh, which kind of gives us a need to be able to evaluate the same expression many, many times. And in the next video, we'll look at taking this so it parses out to a tree, and then we can do this more efficiently.